Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, honey. The Ankle's a little mean. <laughs> so, good day, happy Halloween. Hope everyone is having a good one. Thank you so much for tuning on in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, become a chill. For today's video, you guessed it! Another Q&A! Thank gosh. No, not really. <laughs> Thank gosh, uh, she finally stopped talking about the channel. So, I don't have to skip any, because honestly, I was probably going to <laughs> if there was more. But, yeah, I don't want to waste any time, you guys. I hope you all are having a great morning day. Actually, this is going to come out around noon, so a good day, good afternoon, and yeah, I hope you have some fun plans for Halloween. If not, you're just going to stay in and watch a spooky movie. Hey, that's a great time too. So yeah, without any further ado, let's dive right on into this, guys, shall we? Do you wish you could form a better slash more positive relationship with your viewers? Mm. <laughs> of course. And I've tried. I roll. Yeah, okay. You could have created a more trustworthy and honest relationship during this very break, girl. Huh? But you can't you can't be bothered to maintain the same energy for your YouTube audience as you do the lackeys that come over and beg you for questions on Instagram. I'm realizing that the people who dislike me slash hate me aren't going to change their opinion of me. Oh, <laughs> Just now figuring that out. After 11 years. Wow. I'm done trying to prove I'm a certain kind of person or prove myself in any sort of way. Unless it's towards the side of my audience who genuinely like me. Uh, <laughs> small percentage. But, <laughs> so are you just like throwing in the towel, girl? This whole, you know, nicey, nice Amberlynn. Why are you so afraid to post on YouTube? Afraid? I'm not afraid to post on YouTube. I think she's afraid to post certain content on YouTube, but I don't think she's afraid. She's been doing it 11 years. <laughs> I don't think she cares. The fact that you haven't seriously responded to a single question about Twinkie is extremely telling. She hasn't talked about her in a minute, so yeah. What exactly is it telling you? I haven't gotten many questions about her. Mainly, where is Twinkie? I've been receiving those questions for the last seven years on YouTube, so it's no different than the norm. I roll. You know that the main concern right now is Twinkie. Shut up, girl. Shut up. And granted, this is probably a case of no matter what she says, people are going to be unhappy. But uh, uh, <laughs> there are ways that she could mediate that. I. She's just too lazy to. So she doesn't care, which is fine, honestly. If you don't feel like putting the proof out there, whatever, you know. She has stated multiple times, Twinkie's fine, Twinkie's with me. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. Does it affect your mental health that you don't have it in you to post videos anymore? It does. Hi, girl, go to therapy. <laughs> her just coming on and complaining about her mentals, like, dude... If you're not going to do anything to try to make it better for yourself, then I ain't going to waste my breath. Pineapple themed nails, please. Oh, we got a swinger, y'all. <laughs> What's your favorite part of Wisconsin? Other than Tommy Obvi. Ew. Witnessing the trees turning beautiful colors in the fall. Wow. <laughs> The best way to shut the haters up is to prove them wrong and lose the weight. That's not why people hate her. Oh my god. These gotta be new people, honestly. If they're not just like brain dead am babies, they gotta be new people then. Because <laughs> how is it that the consensus is just, oh yeah, no, it's just because she's fat. That's why people don't like her. Come on, when have you ever seen people genuinely complaining about her obesity other than her lack <laughs> of power to change it? I'll never lose a single ounce for a hater. Don't worry, you'll never lose it for yourself either, girl. Never! I'll lose weight for me. Sure. <laughs> 
Sure, Amber. When's it gonna happen, girl? Huh? You've had 11 years to lose some weight for yourself, and where are we? Do you still watch Learning to be Fearless? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm months behind. I haven't even watched anything since she gave birth. Okay, wow. But then once she does start watching again, she'll probably be like, Oh my god, you guys, I love her so much. People seem to believe they own you and get upset when you live your own life. Not at all. I think to a degree, some people. But it's just, <laughs> once again, back to the whole, oh, I've tried to have a better relationship with my audience. <sighs> this whole break, once again, just proves how she doesn't care. Because she would have said something long before. That's a fair statement. I roll. <laughs> Eye roll. That just feeds into her victim complex of like, oh, now people expect everything of me. Actually, no, Amberlynn, we expect a very, very little of you. <laughs> it's just that you uphold that. I hate the way the world has treated you, and you don't owe anyone any explanations. Well, then she also is not owed a good relationship with her audience then. Sorry. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is almost worse than the French wave that came in a couple years back. Was it a couple years? Or a year or so, during the whole cake gate thing, right? <laughs> Social Blade shows you're demonetized. Social Blade is highly inaccurate. Always has been. I'm not demonetized. <laughs> she will forever take the bait, you guys. Don't you worry. <laughs> Roses for what anniversary? How long has it been? Oh my gosh, how many times do we have to talk about this? It was just a cute thing she did for our four months together. Aww. What'd she do for your five months talking anniversary? I don't know, probably nothing. It's stupid. <laughs> Can we see your highlighter collection, please? Yeah, I'll show it in a video. Wonderful. Do we have to wait two more months for it? <laughs> I miss when you used to love doing YouTube. You lost your spark and it makes me sad. Now, she figured out how to actually successfully hide <laughs> the things that people did not like. And that's why there's so much speculation now. Because we know Amberlynn didn't change. <laughs> she didn't magically get better. I've been belittled harassed, stalked, bullied, beaten down, torn apart, etc. for so long that it has absolutely changed who I am as a person. Oh, okay. Okay, Amber. You're still a monster, though. All right. Shepherd's pie is Irish, not British. What makes it different is the meat used. Well, no, Amber, what makes it different is where it's coming from, like where it's made. That's what makes it the difference. <laughs> if it wasn't two ge different geographical locations, then it wouldn't be different meat. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, also, slight tea. I saw a lot of people being like, Jordan, half of Ireland is owned by Britain. Oh, <laughs> Oh, the Irish are going to come for y'all. <laughs> Easy now. Easy. But yeah, she's going to, I think she's going to very clearly show that she doesn't understand <laughs> what people are trying to say. Girl, them nail suggestions are fire. Thank you. I love nail art. Yeah, that's why you go on Pinterest for it. Like, come on, dude. Are you making content on another platform? No, I'm not. A lot of people are speculating that she's moving on over to, like, an OnlyFans or something for feeders. I really don't think so, y'all. And I don't think Tommy's pushing her to either. Tommy didn't want to do that with Colleen. I don't- I really don't think that it's going to ever really come to that, you know? Didn't your adopted brother connect with you a while ago, or am I remembering wrong? I have three brothers in total. Two were adopted as babies. One found us. Yeah, and then left you as well? Because we never heard about that again, now did we? But I believe she said before that she has three brothers. She only ever talks about the one, though. And then the long-lost one that she apparently saved from choking. Or was that Tony, the one that we do know about? I don't know. I don't know. But 
any child that got away from the Reed family, best to stay away. Are you suing TJ Maxx for the leaked footage, brother? <laughs> what? No, LMAO. Yeah, I don't think you would have much of a case, to be honest. I mean, maybe, but, like, what's the max that would happen? The person would get fired. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Which Lego set do you recommend that's fun? Home Alone Lego was one of my faves to do. Yeah, because she loves getting into someone else's house and redecorating. <laughs> I have done hundreds of Lego sets by now. That's a lot of freaking money. But something about building a house is so fun to me. She doesn't even keep the Legos, dude. That's the thing. Like, why wouldn't you keep those? Come on. That's like the point. <laughs> Last Lego set you completed. Mona Lisa. Wow. She's literally going through and doing them all, dude. That's crazy. Your social blade proves you're demonetized. Clearly why you don't post. I love how they're baiting you, girl, and you're falling for it every freaking time. See those green dollar signs? That means monetized. I'm not posting for a million reasons at this point. Demonetization is not one. Oh, okay. Now it's just a million reasons, not, oh, you guys, I just need a little mental break. Do you believe in ghosts? If so, have you had any experiences? No, I do not. Oh, didn't she say she would love to do ghost hunting? Or didn't she always constantly freaking say, there's a ghost, oh my god, and then genuinely get scared about it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amber, whatever. I mean, whatever, you guys. I'm nitpicking here. But she always, you know, constantly flip-flops. And you can be a skeptic and want to do all that, a thousand percent. But, I don't know, Amber Lynn won't even leave the house, so let alone go ghost hunting. Sending Alexis nude photos you got from Erica is illegal. Are you afraid of getting sued? Well, I never heard about that. I never did that, so no. LOL. Well, I don't think it's necessarily a laughing matter. Um, but I don't... Did Alexis say that? Did she allege that? I don't care. <laughs> Do the leaves not change in Oklahoma? I guess the weather is typically warmer all year. It gets freezing in Oklahoma. It snows every winter, and the ice is bad, too. But I just find the trees in Wisconsin to have some sort of magic in them. <laughs> Same with the trees in Virginia. Oh, Amberlynn truly experiences fall for the first time. Kentucky gets fall too, though. So, like, dude, she will just rag on Kentucky at any freaking chance. <laughs> Jesus, dude. No magic in the trees over there, I guess. Hi, huh, Amber. People always compare you to a regular 9 to 5 when that's literally not your job. It's honestly so strange to me. I roll. You compare what you do to a regular job. Other people wouldn't do that if you didn't do that, okay? You constantly want to equate what you do to a regular job and say people are so privileged. <laughs> Girl, bye. Bye. You can make all of the, your money for food and rent for the month by posting one singular video, which like, hey... <laughs> That's a flex in itself, I guess. But, like, come on now, dude. <laughs> come on. People wouldn't compare you to a 9 to 5 if you didn't do it yourself and try to use that as a justification for why you're so lazy. Shepherd's pie is lamb. Cottage pie is beef. Shepherd's pie is Irish. I've only ever had it with beef, and it's always been called shepherd's pie when I order it, have it, etc. See, this emoji sometimes, depends on the context, pisses me off. Because it's just like a, oh, well, I don't really care. I mean, whatever, girl, to each their own. Of course she's brain dead and isn't going to realize that she's only ever had Americanized versions of stuff. But also, I mean, okay, that wasn't even the point, girl. The point was is that you said it was an English food and... It's not. I mean, cottage pie is English, and that's technically what she means. But over here, shepherd's pie is a representation of an Americanized Irish dish. So it's, it's 
complicated, but also not really, you know? The whole point of YouTube is that you do it on your own terms. You are your own boss, LMAO. Yeah, but there's still a level of, like, respect that you have for yourself and for your audience. Because at the end of the day, they're the ones paying your bills. <laughs> so, you know, you might want to at least be respectful to them. Just a idea. I just needed a break. I'm coming back. I just pe wish people were more understanding of that. Well, girl, considering that we're going on week four, or actually maybe even week five, and you're just now, like within the last week or so, complaining about, oh, it's actually mentals. Okay. I mean, whatever. Come back at your own pace, but just be wary that if you're not open with your audience, then that's what leads to the tons and tons of speculations. Do you have any gothy nail inspo? Okay, more Pinterest. Girl, why don't you follow actual nail artists online? Like, <laughs> come on. I had no idea you had been to Virginia. Did you live there or just visit? Oh, so these people are new. <laughs> So they're very new. I lived there for almost four years. Well, you squatted there, girl. You weren't really living there, okay? Living, I consider you add to taxes. <laughs> and I mean, sure, she paid tax. Well, she didn't really pay for anything. So no, she didn't pay taxes. Never mind. No, she was squatting. <laughs> she was squatting in Virginia. Why are people so upset about shepherd's pie? I don't know. Help. Well, girl, you're going against the Irish here, and when it comes to national pride, the Irish are soaked in it. <laughs> Any super short nails in spell? Okay. Imagine showing this to a nail tech, <laughs> being like, I'll give you $40. Can you please paint these super tiny, intricate details? <laughs> Hi, girl. Long time watcher. First time interacting. Would you ever cut your hair short? Oh, so yeah, you're such a long time viewer. Okay. <laughs> I used to want to, but that was years ago. Mmm, no, you said round fat faces look rounder and fatter if it's with short hair, and then you gave a side eye glance to Beck. I don't think I'll ever cut my hair short. It's her biggest personality trait other than she's gay. <laughs> For a while, I was bad with trims, but I've been trimming monthly since January, and honestly, it's made a world of a difference. Amber overdoing it is bad also. <laughs> I'm trimming it monthly, you guys. What, are you just literally cutting it with basic-ass scissors at home? That's horrible. <laughs> when did you build the Home Alone Lego? 2022. Okay. It's funny that the people that are rushing you to come back are most likely haters waiting to rip into you. Yeah, yeah, I could say that that's a partially true, partially not true statement. I don't really care if she comes back. It's more so just wish she was open with her audience. Once again, like, she wants to be held accountable, allegedly. That's why she posts videos. And now, all of a sudden, we're not posting videos. And once again, she truly, deep down, doesn't want to be held accountable. That's always what it gets to. When she's doing good, it's about accountability. When she's not, then you better not even freaking ask about it. <laughs> this is exactly what I've noticed based on usernames and other things they've said to me recently or in the past. <laughs> She sounds so sinister and weird. I'm seeing so many people being supportive of my break. And it's people who you wouldn't consider a hater. Amber, again, just be open about it. Which she is now, after weeks <laughs> of having to pull teeth to get some type of answer from her. Which I guess is fair to say you could say she does not owe that. But... Once again, in terms of wanting a better relationship with your audience, doing all this ain't that. <laughs> but of course, your and babies are going to be, Oh, yes, Amber, take as much time as you need. Do, 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 do. Yo, your life is so hard. Not Zachary Michael putting out an eight-minute video like you. You're truly his inspiration. Well, dude, oh my god. <laughs> I swear, I don't think... That this is Amber, honestly, it's probably, like, her actual Ann babies. Gotta make that bag. I don't blame him. <laughs> she can't be bothered to make it, though, that's for sure. <laughs> I will give this to Amber, though. At least she's finally come around to the idea of reaction channels are just doing a job. Like, 
shut up and don't take it too personal. They're mad because they need your content to make money. They need to pay their car note. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> okay. To be fair, there are many other topics that I could be covering instead of these Q&As. But, yeah, I like to sit here and talk our ish for the day. <laughs> I mean, I've been hella behind on, like, Foodie Booty, uh, Nikocado Avocado. Could put a lot more energy over into the other channel, too. Go check it out. Link is in the description. <laughs> Like, come on, dude. There's so many other things that reaction channels can talk about, so. Their car note made me giggle. Yeah, because you wouldn't know what that's like, right, girl? Having a car payment now? Okay. <laughs> Are you and Tommy drinking for Halloween? We don't drink anymore. So now. Oh, you see how it's now a group decision that they're not going to drink anymore? Something tells me. Because listen. Tommy. Eh. Yeah, she might got a little bit of a gut, but, like, she's nowhere near as bad, I would say, at least just by looking. Although she is a heavy smoker, so ugh, there's that. But why is it now that your oh-so-super-supportive girlfriend is not drinking anymore also? Hmm? Did you create, like, a little plan for yourself, a little New Year's resolution that you're not going to drink as much anymore? Was it becoming a problem, Amber? Yeah. Because whenever she comes on, does a lot of drinking, and then does a lot of crying, she always then says that, or alludes to the fact that it's the girlfriend that has a drinking problem, and so they're both going to step back from it. Amber is a thousand percent the one with the drinking problem. Let's be so for real. She can drink multiple days in a row, not feeling like hungover or whatnot. And she can always push herself to that like extreme limit. That's a person with a drinking problem. That is. It doesn't have to be that, oh, you wake up in the morning with the shakes and you have to go sneak a shot in before breakfast or you're having to get drunk while on the job, which she does. But <laughs> it's not always like, you know, your stereotypical alcoholism. Just being unhealthy when you do consume alcohol is a form of alcoholism. I mean, <laughs> what do you mean Michael B. Petty wanted a career to keep? His content was horrible. Lots of ableism, fat shaming, etc. It was bad. A nurse shouldn't act that way online, and he knew it. A nurse also shouldn't be laying on top of her death-fat girlfriend's stomach, okay? Laying under it, posting to feeder forums on Facebook and stuff. Sorry, but <laughs> you want to hold a standard for a reaction channel when it? I don't think it really affected their work at all. Um, also, ableism, I don't really think so. Uh, fat shaming, like, no, not really. <laughs> I would say, honestly, that I've probably said way worse over here. And she watches and claims to enjoy watching. So, I don't know, girl. Are you only saying this because he isn't here to basically defend himself? Like, I mean, he's on Twitter still. He still actively tweets about her and whatnot. But it's different obviously um <laughs> but girl i roll not amberlyn being the moral compass to go world oh. do you have a pinterest <laughs> i don't i had one about 13 years ago when you couldn't join unless you were invited by someone to join haven't touched it since then i'm pretty sure she showed us her looking on pinterest in the big cherry retro reacts that's less than 13 years ago girl hmm Plus, like, she just had to slide that in there that, oh, she was in the exclusive club because she had friends that wanted her to join. Aww. <laughs> Didn't you call out all the time at the call center place? <sighs> you flubbed up there. I've never worked at a call center. If you're referring to when I did data work, no. You had a certain amount of times you could call out a year. Five times. And if you went over that, you were fired. Amber, you definitely went over that. You definitely went over that, dog. So maybe is that why you stopped? Because they fired you? Oh? Oh? Jesus Christ. What's a random fact about your YouTube process? People see an eight-minute vlog and assume that was eight minutes of work and that's it. Let me break it down. Everything I do to create that eight-minute vlog... 
plan set up amber what do you plan seriously what do you plan you post freaking Snapchat videos and TikToks in the video to push the length, okay? And it's always just so conveniently footage of you doing something that you were already doing to begin with. So what are you really having to plan, huh? And what are you really having to set up? You have to set your phone up? Oh, yeah, you poor thing. Edit. Eight minute vlog is only eight minutes because they're normally 20 plus, but I edit out a lot. Amber, reaction channels edit 40 minute plus long videos. Like, what are you really complaining about, dude? Process the video. Export it. Uploading. She acts like those things are what she is having to do. Amber, the computer does those. You just click a button. <laughs> and then you have to wait, sure. But like... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude, to actually act like that's a real freaking step in it. My God, she'll do anything to ass pat herself. That's what this is. It's her ass patting, making it seem like she actually does work. Final touches, description, schedule, etc. All of this takes hours. I roll. Do we really believe that? Do we really freaking believe that 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 takes hours? I mean, probably. Probably she is a little slow. But my god, dude. Ugh. Uh, she was really ranting last night, you guys. And like all day, too. She was doing these all freaking day. You can almost tell when Tommy gets home from work because there's a gap. <laughs> I don't understand why your kidney stone just magically went away. I mean, same. But to be fair, she did say non obstructing. Because I have a non obstructing kidney stone which don't usually cause symptoms, but sometimes they do. I happen to experience some symptoms, but they've gone away. Is it because you're moving around less? Is that why? Because she said the more she moved around, the more she could feel it. So if she's not feeling it anymore, it's because she's not moving around, right? A non-obstructing kidney stone isn't traveling. It's in your kidney still. Oh, wow. Thank you. Most people experience kidney stone pain when your kidney stone is traveling. People have non-obstructing kidney stones all the time and don't even know it. Wow. I'm not a doctor, so I ain't going to try to say nothing. I don't care. This one's long enough. <laughs> Are you and Tommy going to do matching Halloween costumes? I'm not dressing up this year. What a freaking killjoy. My God. <laughs> Could have just been like, we haven't really considered anything yet. Any ideas? Even if you're not going to consider it. Just like, come on, dude. <laughs> Something. But she seems to be in a real pissy attitude. I wonder if she wanted to go out partying, drinking, doing her shit, or just to the casino or bingo or eating. And who knows? Maybe Tommy has to spend some time with her daughter. Amber ain't gonna like this. All of the attention shifting over at random points. I'm currently building the Corvette Lego. It's the only piece I've had in a while. I get it. OMG, that's the one I'm building right now. Have fun and enjoy that piece. Okay, Amber Lynn knows about peace, right? <laughs> She's sought after her entire freaking life. Every single th thing that Zach has accused you of, he's been doing it himself lately, if that isn't karma. These Ant Babies are so brain dead, they don't understand what sarcasm and freaking satire is, dude. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. It's like, did y'all ever have to read a modest proposal? And even after being told, like, guys, this is satire, don't take this seriously, there was still those fuckers in class that took it way too seriously. <laughs> Random, side note, modest proposal. I believe it was by an Irishman. I believe. William something. Oh my god, I don't know. It's been a minute, you guys. Um, But it was a satirical article written about if the price for leather goods and stuff becomes too high, then you can just eat one of your children, skin them, and turn them into leather products. It was completely satire, but of course, people back then, and even now, still took it seriously. <laughs> like, what? And we are down to the last three, thank God. Can I see your Corvette progress? Wow, Amber. Sitting there watching videos about yourself all day. Can you show us an updated Lego collection in a video? 
I've gotten rid of all the Legos I've completed over the years. What a waste, in my opinion, honestly. She's just building it to do it then and wasting that money. You're literally spending hundreds of dollars just for an activity. Like, not even for the final product, dude, because you don't care about that. You just want to push through, do it, spend the money on it, and then throw it away. That's crazy, in my opinion. How's your mental health doing? <laughs> not good. I was thinking about a year ago from today. I was also in a bad headspace. Maybe seasonal depression? I really don't know what is going on, but I'm trying to figure it out. Amber, it's not seasonal depression when you have depression. That's just depression. <laughs> Which you have said before, you have. And I would definitely agree on that diagnosis. She's one depressed mother effer. But go to a therapist, girl. What is there to figure out? Go to a therapist. Go get some freaking help. My God, if it's really that horrible, do not come online and bitch and complain about it. Go get help. Anyways, y'all, this is the last one. This was a long one. I need to edit this, get it scheduled and whatnot. And then I will do the Big Cherry Retro for tomorrow. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in, you guys. I truly do appreciate y'all. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a chair. I hope you all have a wonderful spooky Halloween. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.